perfectly. All right, cool. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Kurt Wallace Martin. I'm from Bikes Make Life Better. We help large organizations put people on bikes. Uh, the idea is bikes as a business tools. And in terms of simple things, this is something we've learned that uh, in some areas is surprising. If you put bikes in front of people, they ride them. All kinds of people. Uh, it's an 8 to 80 sort of thing. Uh, and as a result, we've seen that bike share has gone from what we all assume bike share is to many interesting things. And it's sort of analogous to cell phones. There was one cell phone, and now there are a zillion different kinds. So very quickly, we'll rip through these pretty slides. City bike, as seen here with the handsome guy in the promo shot, uh, is our conception of bike share in North America, this public bike share. Uh, and there are a couple of things about it. All the bikes are the same. They tend to be large systems, hundreds, thousands of bikes. Um, and they tend to be uh, in these public systems that are reliant on stations. So in that sense, they sort of look like uh, bus systems. The bikes go from station to station, and hopefully that matches up with people's idea of bike share. Uh, so from public, there's this idea that there's private. Public meet private. Uh, these are Facebook bikes. Facebook has said, oh, well, we actually have different trip types and a different need for our users. Uh, you can see the similarities. The bikes are all kind of the same. They all have this, this look to them. Uh, however, these bikes are faster. They're lighter. They have gears, various things like that to meet a different sort of use case. Uh, once you start talking private, though, the options explode. What, what about universities? What about all sorts of things? So we start seeing more missions, more trip types. Um, we think of them as missions. So a hotel has a different mission. The underlying idea is the same. Someone arrives at your facility, your city, your hotel, and they need transportation. In a lot of cases, we don't want people to bring their own car. If you're going on vacation, you might come from a plane. So it makes perfect sense for the place that you're staying to supply you with bike share, uh, a fleet of bikes designed for certain trip types, the sort of things you do in this case from a fancy Viceroy hotel. But what about security and police? Uh, we're spending a lot of time in this sort of realm where, well, it's like a fleet of police cars, right? Only in this case, they're bikes. Lots of reasons why you've seen more and more cops on bikes. They can get to things faster. Uh, they're closer to the ground. For one thing, they can hear you know, all the reasons that it's nice to be on a bike, but just a surprising need that security people would say, oh, yeah, bikes absolutely match what we need. And what do we end up with? Dozens, hundreds of bikes that all look the same, that are deployed to a certain person for a certain trip type. Uh, so it's fascinating, the, the implications. Uh, a loner fleet, this idea that, oh, I have some people, they come to my facility, and they need transportation for a while. Formerly, people coming to visit a university as a professor or someone who's just moved to a new office would have to rent a car for a while. Um, maybe they do Uber or Zipcar or something that doesn't really fit the commuting lifestyle. What if we had a whole bunch of bikes and somebody could come to our facility uh, here, a university or a corporation, and check out a bike? There's some sort of loaner process. Maybe the bike doesn't have a lot of technology on it. Uh, it's not a smart bike. Uh, but we check it out to them, and it's a fleet that we manage. All right. Dude, where's my doc? This is a breakthrough. If you think of city bike we saw in the first slide, the bike has a certain amount of electronics on it, but it's basically a, a, a big, heavy bike that reports to a dock. You show up at the dock like you would show up at a bus station, and you have some sort of transaction with the bike. You know, you swipe a, a credit card, you check out this bike, uh, you ride it away. At the end, it has a problem. If I get to my dock in Paris, New York, uh, Barcelona, wherever, Kathmandu, and there are no available docks, I have to go to the next place to return my bike because it's, of course, checked out to my credit card. I want to make sure I return it. Uh, 
Likewise, if I get to a, a dock and there are no bikes, it's just like the bus not showing up. You stand there in this pool of frustration wondering what your next transit option is. How am I going to get there? So this is different in that there is no dock. Instead, there's technology on the bike itself. And this is Social Bicycles, uh, which has finally broken through sort of the, the uh, technological silicon ceiling of bike share. The bike has the technology on it. You're looking at it right there in the little box that says 01. Solar panel to charge all the electronics and a whole system to check out the bike there. You can see a keypad. You can wave a badge at it all those things. So this company's three and a half years in the running and they finally got this to really work at a high level. So you can go to Phoenix, which we saw in the previous shot, and using your smartphone or just uh, a badge in some cases, check this bike out from wherever you find it. You see on the little screen there, oh yeah, here's bike number one on Main Street. I check out the bike, I ride it away, and I leave it somewhere else, not at a dock, but just locked properly within the service area. So think about that. You no longer, as you're building a system, have to figure out where these stations are, which takes months uh, because they're like big bus stops. Instead, you just deploy bikes inside a service area. So this is a, a real game changer. Changer. All right, but what if we take it one step farther? Each bike, as you see in the rear end of this bike, you see a little eight in red and white. Uh, that is the whole bike share system. It is a lock and uh, a whole GPS tracking system. It's the check-in and out process all in one little module back there. Um, so each bike becomes the system. Uh, the previous screen was Lock 8, which uh, we've been testing those devices. They actually work. This is Skylock, which I've held in my hand uh, and will become manufacturing reality in a few weeks. These locks actually report to GPS and report to the internet. Uh, and so you can run a whole system based on uh, either this one uh, or, or more likely lock eight where you have the whole system on one bike. So it's fascinating. The key difference here, of course, is you can use any kind of bike. So picture city bike where we started this big heavy thing, all the bikes look the same. Suddenly the bikes don't look the same. Well, I can have different kinds of bikes. So here's where we get to diversity. This bike, very particular sort of use case in, in the city. I imagine she has fancy clothes inside there. She's shopping. Um, but diversity wins. Here are e-bikes. We could talk for a long time about the implications of e-bikes, basically increasing human power, but you still have a bike. You don't have a parking problem. You don't have a traffic problem. So fleets of e-bikes available as a bike share. Lots of people looking at this. When do we need special vehicles? Just once in a while. We don't need a big SUV or certainly a moving van all the time. Uh, yeah, so here's an electric assist surfboard beach cruiser. I just love that photo. Just because it's so cute. Sorry. Uh, and last but not least, pilots are cool. This looks like a really fancy Kaiser Permanente healthcare system fleet of matching bikes. There must be thousands of these, right? This entire fleet is 20 bikes just to show that it can be done, and then the system can be replicated nationally as required. Uh, but right from the get-go, we're able to do these cool little test pilots and see, oh, yeah, bike share isn't necessarily thousands of bikes that takes years to roll out, uh, but you start with whatever you need. Uh, prove the case, and then expand on it really simply. There you have it, folks. Six things in the next wave of bike share. Very exciting times.